everyone, welcome to another quick tip video for SimonsTheStamp.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use these two new items from the Simons the Stamp store. These are exclusive to Simons the Stamp. This is the small envelope die, and then this is the envelope sentiments stamp set. And these um, coordinate together for the most part, but there are some larger pieces over here that will coordinate or are able to be used on a standard size envelope for your A2 cards. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can use it. I'm going to start out with the die, and when I'm going to be stamping on an envelope, I like to use just plain white paper um, just to get the most vibrant color. I'm also using a thinner white paper that makes it a little bit easier to fold the envelope, but I'm also going to show you in a minute that you can use regular uh, like 6x6 six six pad weight paper. I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my Big Shot machine. And it even does all the scoring lines. So now I can fold these down. Really easily. All right, and the way that I would put it all together is I would bring in the two side flaps, add a little bit of adhesive, maybe just a little bit of glue, and then fold this center flap up and then you have the envelope to slide your three by three card in. The finished envelope size is three and one eighth by three and one eighth. So you should be able to slide your card in and then just fold that flap down. You can do the same with some pattern paper. I'm gonna use this pattern paper from Glitz and I'm just gonna run this through the die cutting machine. I like this because it is double-sided so you can get a little bit of color on both sides. And how fun is it to have those stripes on your envelope? Alright, to finish this envelope I'm going to take the two sides in. I'm going to run a little bit of adhesive right along that edge and then fold this one up. So I'm going to do a little bit of adhesive just on this flap. And I'll do a little bit of adhesive on this flap and fold that up. So the envelope is pretty much done. Now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on this side. The A Gift For You stamp in the sentiment envelope sentiment stamp set fits perfectly on your new envelope that fits a 3x3 three three card. Alright, so I have a really cute A Gift For You envelope. Then I can put that on top of a gift or anything like that. A bunch of these other stamps will also fit in your little 3x3 envelope. This little one up here, Open Me ASAP. I'm going to show you how to use this little corner piece right here. You're going to want to use a stamp press or an acrylic block that has grid lines on it for this. Because you want to make sure you get that stamp on there perfectly straight and at a 90 degree angle. I have a standard envelope here. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on it. And I'll be using Hero Arts Black Dye Ink. So I'll stamp that one corner. Ink up my stamp again. I'll turn the stamp around and I'll finish this other corner. You can also ink up the lines stamp and put that near the bottom, just like that, and then use the Happy Mail for stamp, use that right up there. Then you can fill in the address and mail off your envelope. There are a lot of other fun little um, Sentiments and things like that that you can use on your envelope, precious cargo, hug and clothes, made with love, definitely not junk mail, things like that. It's a really great set to use for all of your envelopes. So I hope that gives you guys an idea on how you can coordinate these items together and build your own 3x3 envelopes as well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.